To create a great employee experience using technology, you have to first know what kind of employee experience you're trying to create. One of the most common mistakes that I see HR teams make is that they race to apply or purchase technology before they really understand what it is they're needing to accomplish or what problem they're trying to solve. Technology is a tool and it's an awesome and powerful tool for building or creating or facilitating experience, but you have to know what kind of experience you're trying to build or create before you can choose the right tool. So start by getting clear on the type of employee experience you're trying to create and then you can start thinking about technology because technology can play three different roles when it comes to experience. Number one is enable. Enable is to make possible. Technology is amazing at taking ideas or concepts or aspirations and turning them into reality. So, uh, for example, let's say you decided through your process that you need to create a flexible employee experience. Well, you could use technology to um, enable remote work through, let's say, meetings or different technology that make it easy to work from wherever you do your best work or wherever you might be. Um, another example came from a, an organization I talked to that used technology in their call center where it's you know strict scheduling and shift requirements to make um, scheduling more transparent and to empower employees to do shift trading and um, to actually manage their own schedule to make it work better um, and still cover all the shifts for the organization. So that's an example of enable. The second role is liberate. Liberate is about sort of freeing the employee experience from, exper from other things or experiences that get in the way. So um, let's use onboarding as an example. Most people when they think of new employee onboarding think of stacks of paperwork and that's not fun for anybody. That's not a great experience. So there's great technology out there that you can use to take that paperwork process, automate, automate it, make it easier for employees to do, let them do it when it works best for them. Like That would improve the experience almost anywhere. Or another example would be making it easy to find information about important stuff like my compensation or time off or benefits. Right? In the, in the age of Google, when we have a question, we expect to be able to reach in our pocket, pull out our smartphone and find an answer in real time. And you can do that today with the right technology. Another example of how to liberate uh, the employee experience from a process that in the past could have been kind of cumbersome. The third role is evaluate. There's a lot of ways that we can use technology to make sure that the employees are having the kind of experience that you intend. Things like pulse surveys or short uh, one or two question evaluations at the end of some kind of interaction, whether it be with a manager or with a training class or with a tool online that says, you know, rate how helpful this was or would you recommend this experience to others so that you can have an ongoing trend line of how the experience is going to make improvements and evolutions in the future. So when it comes to employee experience, let's recap. Start first by defining your experience and then apply technology to enable, liberate, and evaluate.